Our third disgrace of the week. Pass me the uh, cheap bottle of scotch from dinner. Uh, Alcatel Lucent. Alcatel Lucent missed huge on the same day as Syntex Brilliant. Hmm, pattern. You don't get on this wall for, for no reason. Now, there's a particular strand of great American incompetence that can transcend our nation's borders. As Patricia Russo, just a sec. Oh, man, this is why they give me the Bowie knife. Patricia Russo now presides over a Franco-American disaster. Bear with me. A marriage of inconvenience between Lucent and Alcatel. I mean, I got to tell you, what I say is, let's have some real Franco-American SpaghettiOs. Remember Franco-American? That's when it used to be. Uh, well, anyway, that's Alcatel Lucent, Franco-American. You don't remember the product? Maybe raviolios. They, uh, now, uh, Russo's done, a, she has a remarkable lack of rigor, a lack of execution, a lack of vision, and the list goes on and on. Oh, come on, this is really funny. All right, think on this. In the midst of the greatest telco boom uh, in seven years, when Sienna and Juniper and Erickson and Cisco are hitting it out of the park, riding the tremendous wave of telco infrastructure spending, Franco-American blows up, even though it's in the same business. And it's talking about intense competition. I mean, come on. It would take a CEO um, it, 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 of uh, Patricia Russo's caliber to prevent Franco-American, which is what I have to call it now because I have this silly SpaghettiOs up here, but to prevent ALU from thriving in this environment. During this great telco market, ALU, a telco equipment supplier, is seeing shrinking orders and break-even bottom line. That's if they are lucky. We were looking for double-digit growth in revenue. Instead, they're forecasting it'll be flat because of tough competition from its peers, an excuse you only use if your company's bad. Hal Russo, actual likeness, Hal Russo pulled this failure off with the Franco-American SpaghettiOs is, I don't know, I mean, it's lever to Verizon. They're spending like a drunken sailor. She has snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. Since Russo took over the helm of this Franco-American toxin, and I don't mean the gravy, the stock has dropped 32 percent, annihilating more than 11 billion in market cap. Man, that product smells bad. I think she needs to. Whew, I think she needs to be permanently enshrined in the hall, in the uh, hall of shame. Um, my prediction for ALU: when the stock hits negative four, the board of directors will begin to discuss an orderly transition to a new CEO. Minus Katra. Uh, Russo said she was going to dust off her high school French. What I want to know is, what's French for? You're fired! Bottom line. <laughs> Ignore the whole shame in your own pearl. These CEOs must go before their stocks really start to work. And even then, I wouldn't want Syntax Stupid or Franco-American. <laughs> Tom in California. Tom! Maybe this will help the taste. I mean, the board of directors is just awful. Bam! Emerald! Bam! Um, I got to tell you, they're so asleep at these companies that they must sit around, literally, and just say, look, let's collect whatever we get paid for the board, and the, let's not have a meeting. Let's just play a lot of golf. Much, appre much appreciated. Uh, and I got to tell you something. It means the world to me because it is an educational show, even though I have to occasionally on a Friday night, I mean, in the summer, at the end of the summer, who's going to watch this show? I got to do a little, you know, a little gimmick stuff. What's on your mind? Well, I kind of have a thought and a question, but sure. quite often you uh, you highlight the worst CEOs on your show. You and the bet I do, and there's a yeah. lot of bad ones. Believe me, there's a lot of competition to get on my wall of shame. Well, uh, I know that uh, you you do that quite a bit, but you know when you highlight someone such as a Chuck Prince or any of the others, I, right. I'm kind of sitting here wondering, well, who's your favorite CEO in that area? So I guess in my bank, uh, Dick Dick Kovacevic at Wells Fargo is monster good. He's just much. He's like unbelievably good. Hey, uh, hey, I like the Bank of America guy, uh, Ken Lewis. He just raises fees to three bucks at the ATM. That is money in the. That's proverbial and literal money in the bank. Oh man, I gotta wrap things up. Okay, look, I gotta finish this incredible dish. Bring on the, bring on the uh, raviolios. We've we've exhausted the spaghettios. Chuck Prince, City Group, Vince Stiletto. Syntax Stupid and Pat Russo from Franco American Lucid. I gotta tell you something, these guys will forever be in the wall of shame. <laughs>